the guy got in the game uh, and got in immediately. And today is the TG TG Show podcast. Also know uh, the guy in the game uh, podcast. So we're gonna go uh, the stretch. So this is the this is the TG TG Show podcast or the guy in the game uh, show podcast uh, for. Uh, uh, for Friday, for Friday, for Friday the tenth, for no, for Friday the thirteenth of December or or the trans of the thirteenth of the twenty nineteen. Um. So we have some bonus topics. So let's start with the gaming topic because it it's getting pretty spicy in the world of gaming. We're gonna talk about the net generation appbot called Appbot App CV app. We're gonna talk about fair and pinning and on season of dawn on the new season of Destiny 2. Uh, we're gonna talk about the game of War 3. Then as you know, there's going to be no spawn, no advertisement, and no TGTG store offer and dig can and new releases. And then in tech, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Android Auto, we're going to talk about Android Auto finally, finally coming to BMW Entertainment Center and BMW i in 2020. So we're going to talk about that. Um... We're gonna talk about gonna um, talk about that. We're also gonna talk about the new GLA hybrid from Mercedes, the brand new electric car. And we're gonna talk about Apple Mac Pro, Apple Fair Edit Pro, Apple Mac Pro, the Fair Edit PC, where it actually feel like a PC. So in the background, you are seeing footage from season nine of Destiny Two. So um. Yeah, let's get started, and you are seeing footage of the Sunday. So, um, last night at the Game Awards, might as well came and stayed to announce their Net Generation Xbox. The Net Generation Xbox. It's called the Xbox One Series X. It's the more powerful Xbox. Now, you are seeing image, it does look sort of like a PC tablet. So you know a tether with your actual PC going to it kind of does look, look like then. Now they say you can. They say you can do the vertically and horizontally, but um, there a bit of the problem with that with the Xbox logo. It's the most powerful console in the world. Four time powerful. It's four time powerful at the Xbox One X. So four time powerful and then the more powerful gaming cons under f- for five hundred dollar. Uh we we it really amazing. We we really amazing. Um we really amazing. Now the four time part of the uh, the Xbox One, it got a uh, SSD in it, mm, so it got a solid state drive. But it, I think it got DDR. I can't remember what the SSD called, but I mentioned it in yesterday's video. But it had a SSD like the PlayStation, now uh, like the PlayStation, so it was not only low game faster, but had a lot of game on it. It got support for ch- ray tracing, but we don't know what ray tracing is gonna be used for. Um, on the PlayStation, they said they can use ray tracing for sand and better graphics. So uh, they said they can use. So they said it have ray tracing. It said it support game at 60. It support game up. At 4K 60 FPS and 4K 60 FPS game are gonna run up and they're gonna uh, run at 8K 20 FPS on I think like video and show and movie and all that. They did announce 
all your ex cousin ex but accelerate that you game like your game pad um your game pad your game pad your headphones that will be able to run so all your hardware gaming accessory headset game pad my uh, the new adaptive control will work on the brand new Xbox Series X. So it will, they will work on that. Uh, they also mentioned uh, whether all your services should work. So there will be GamePad, 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 GamePad Ultra, Xbox Live Go, and Xbox All Access, and a call. Um, the brand new at Microsoft at class. Their vision to their vision to game streaming uh, um, game the other service sort of gaming for that bit you kind of think in a so that kind of that will be ready for that. Um, and that box so you can use your the new app box as sort of your own personal server. You are sort of your own personal server. So in that of connecting to Microsoft server, you'll be able to connect to the new Xbox because it will be kind of their own server for that. Mentioning that in yesterday's video. Um, so it will kind of be like, you know, your um, own server with. Um, you can so, um Uh, and whether that they mean all that bot activity and all that bot servity will come back, so that good. It's four time part of it at the red bot one at it got ray tracing the SD. It um it can now in the picture um they did say um in the picture they um they show it holiday standard vertically but it can do horizontally and vertically stuff but I don't know if the logo gonna be magnetic because it would kind of look weird if you stand it horizontally and the logo is not magnetic so you can't change it for um, horizontally or not so yeah um, so yeah they said it's gonna be backward compatible with all generations so the original Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, um, so it's gonna be backward compatible with with all uh, with all generations um, of that Xbox um, gaming servers. So yeah, and they said right when you open the box, there will be game and adventure to play uh, because you can do pretty much after you on live that is where it kind of insane where it kind of insane knowing that when you open your brand new app but in holiday 2020 all the games will come in pre-installed and will be available that kind of insane to me uh, that Xbox can do that uh, that kind of insane to me um, we suspect that it's running on the same software and the same app bot or a custom version of sort of window, um, but a custom version of sort of window is using A and D new chip um, in the console, so that um, net generation chip, so I think that 11 or 10 generations of the A and D chip. Um, that is part of it. Um, that is a part of the chip. Um, that is just a part of the chip. Um, they also say the thing about what we talk about. It also supports dig. It also supports streaming. Um, dig streaming. Streaming media, uh, where you stream from the new X Cloud server. It also supports digital media, where you can download it, and it's.
still support physical media where I like because to be honest I like physical game button and digital and um, right now I I like to get the physical copy then to get the digital copy and have the physical on my chest but, but, but a copy of game um it's better game maybe better all my game I work CDG I only get physical copy that I really want uh, the DDD for um so yeah um um so yeah um they said they said shadow um the Sh Shima game will be playable uh, main game but I don't know if that erect seated or not I think it erect seated but I'm not quite sure on that so yeah so they got a lot of third party studio talking yeah um and the top they said it had a green light now we don't at the top, we don't know if they did marketing, but it, oh, but it would be cool if that was RGB lighting. RGB lighting on the console. Because I do know they got the. Oh, oh, what that? Let me search it up. Uh, um, let me search that up. What? Because I do know they got that. Um, um, are they called Razor? Razor? What's it called? Um, I don't know. They got that Razor Madden keyboard, and is that not RGB? The sort of, you know, the Xbox Madden keyboard? Is that not RGB? I don't know. But they have got RGB before on the at gaming console at set of Um so it, I, I guess I guess that just for Mark to the reason and But if it had RGB that would be pretty sick. Um that would be pretty shit, is it, ha? Uh, um, RGB. That would be pretty good shit, is it, ha, uh, RGB. Um, and yeah. Xbox, it's all more powerful than a gaming PC, you think about it. Like, it is a PC. It's all more powerful than a PC. But when are they gonna call the Xbox bot a PC or when are they gonna be titan um when are they gonna be calling X bot um um at a PC uh that um when are they gonna basically be calling X bot um at a at a PC. I think they also announced a brand new Elite controller um, and they changed um, they changed to so they oh yeah it RGB the map part is RGB so it is a Razor Tudor map all in one Madden keyboard playing uh, uh, RGB but it's 200 pounds. You get a map, a map pass, a keyboard and sort of the keyboard mantis. So um, you get that. But Xbox is not far from a gaming PC. And to be honest, it could probably do video, video rendering or um, or even not a uh, word on it. It wouldn't be surprised that it is, I think it's using a custom version 
of the window. I leave the window GUR uh, GUI interface. A custom version or window UR. So um like, if they just say well when you're done you can have the option to put your export into sort of like from the uh, uh, sort of window gaming mode to a app to a PC that would be true um now today um today they have been taught about GTA 6 so they put G um six so they have been taught of GTA 6 uh, GTA 6 releasing for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, so um, they have been taught that, so I just wanted to. I just, so yeah, a new topic GTA 6 is a part of it, in for the PS5 and Xbox One, so yeah. But let me know what you think about the Xbox One. It looked kind of cool and kind of part of it. my friend didn't play PlayStation. I would only get the red bot because it looked powerful. It looked a monster. And it looked like a monster. And I bet you like what they're doing with um with Project X. I know some people don't like to use their phone for gaming it because it takes a battery their four G and all that but um Xbox, the way you can use your new Xbox, your new generation of Xbox, add a, add a server or game server or um, sort of a server, sort of like um, a DNS server uh, to put your game going to be true. But um, let me know, is the right bot the PC or is it another X? So that, so then that, and also a GTA set is being rumored, so a GTA set is being rumored. Um, the new bot and the PFI and also uh, Sony confirmed that the naming for the net predation is uh, the is the PF5 or the PlayStation 5. That is good. Then let's go on to Season of Dawn. My impression of Destiny 2 Season 9. Whether in the background you're seeing uh, the sun dying, it on Mercury, it like... Another more on Menadere and it is quite good because it is the best. And I do like learning about the vet because the vet is probably one of the it probably one of the interesting fact the third interesting enemy faction for me. Right. And the infernal father. The infernal father to me is the infernal father to me is um is a cool playing dead it? And it is a it is a cool play for Destiny and Destiny Lorna. How a side control did in turn or the, the present, the future and the past. That um it cool to me. The brand new crew map. Um the brand new crew map wow. I forget what it called but it in Russia. Um I have overseen too many I forget what it called uh, in Russia uh, but the brand new crew of Remain Map yeah yeah Remain Map I love it because all the Destiny 1 map I think is far superior from all the Destiny 2 map I spread it on comparing all the Destiny 2 launch map from the D2 launch map. Um, 
so the dot map it came back. Um, the new crew of the map, the party in the mission, the new battle pass. Uh, so they did what a the brand new. Uh, they did the season two setting battle pass, and you get season pass bonus, and then van five did it, and you get bonus. So you get the bonus where I I kind of like. And there's just, there's just so much reward, especially the first like 20 tier, there's so much reward for premium player. There's so much reward for like premium player and uh, people perch premium and free player of the there's just so much reward and the final bottom do get hectic pretty quick and it do get pretty hard if you're not if you're not if you're not doing your job and doing your duty. It do get pretty hard and if you're not doing your run the final bottom. And I like how the scion and you had to take them out from the way that good uh, that good, but like I said, Minato, like I said, they did another copy of Minato, and again, and also that purple ball thing is sometimes, on the first time it, it annoyed me and it's still annoying, but I, I nearly get it at the time now. And it is a copy of Minato, like Minato be good. But when you copy in a gamer, the original OG one, the base, is gonna be so much more better. The original one, the one you're trying to copy or trying to remaster or trying to take, is gonna be the best. And again, that is the best. And I can't play another one. I, I was sitting there like, on Friday going, can I play Minato Re? I look, and they said I could play it. But that was the prestige. That was the harmo version, where it's no map mating. Uh, and I was pretty disappointed there. But again, no gamer is gonna be a good at Minato No copy gamer is gonna be a good at what you're trying to copy. Because, let's face it, the OG stuff, is the bad is the bad. Let um say that um so yeah. And I just think the gamer should be put up. You gonna do this? Put up, put a leaderboard, put a score into this, put a scoreboard, put some crew of war, put some like um crew of mod so each time you go into it you are you know like your a uh, nightfall car. Where you actually didn't put and um, didn't where you actually where the five put and you actually two D but and three buses and they could be like they could be like art damage they could be like um you're using a solar weapon um uh, your solar bonnet at um like at Bold on impact, or they could do an uh, art one and say, where well, you hit it at the floor, you create an uh, art of electric, and if you stood in, you get you hit your add eye and get a D, but you get a here and a D, but um, but yeah. But again, the end to that man, yeah. So, um, I really, I've been winning my season with VR in a couple. We had the quiz because then we I'm doing a bit of project and I'm getting a lot bit of video, but I'm going to do the season review in January and hopefully try to complete the Destiny 2 season battle pack because 90 days or 85 days, it will be more viable to get to uh, 
from tier 1 to tier 100 of the free chat of the free chat and of the premium chat so um yeah and i love that same 14 batter apparently they're gonna be um mission like little story mission um uh that i that i really like and the third mission the third mission to me that i really appreciate but the cred to open um what other the thing called uh, the sundial i think it's called The cred to open the sun dial. Um, it's just annoying. It like goes because and take two out of And I find doing the cred for two to make it fun and make it interesting. Maybe why do a two out of launch story mission um, to get into it instead of a story mission, instead of a story mission, what take like what take like 15 to 20 minutes and a crowd what take two out of it a complete but it a complete nightmare but um uh my review and probably what I got the same with three that I saw it Yes, so that's about the game you bought. Um, let, let me on talk about I think for the last year, so 20, or 20, 50, um, 20, no, 14 or 20, 15. So it been one day, I and then um, the game of war come out at a year and, it, and it's a celebrate game. Now I don't know, I normally watch it in my own time, I have the, and, but I, in my own time, but from that I just, from that I just watch the crit of the game of war, people impression and review of the game of war and seeing what it like and I've been hearing a lot of narratives and then a lot of I've been hearing that like the game of war is another E3 what we don't want the game of the war is a big it did big four out of, of advertisement advertisement for uh rubber gaming equipment or gaming equipment the game of war is another E3 and PlayStation die and State of Play and Nintendo Direct. I've been really heard in a lot of negative things about it. And I was watching, let me get it. I was watching, um, go to, if I go to YouTube, um, I was watching here Nintendo on YouTube. Uh, I think they're calling it beating up, beating up or Something like that. Sorry, I can't say your name properly, man. Uh, but beat then or something like that. Um, mm, let me, let me, let me search for the. But I will walk in his ten-minute like uh, review or sort of review or sort of anal analytic of the game award. He. He was saying where well, the game of war is to celebrate the game. Like the the game of war is to celebrate the game, not another E3. Not it could that um it could yeah, it could that we get to see what team are working on and team is spending their hard and time. Gamer want to play more game, want to 
is way their time in game, but um, that for E3 and Nintendo Direct and and all that, yeah, beating up. Um, so he uploaded the video in all of the Nintendo channels. So. But he, has, what had the game of war? No, what had happened to the game of war? So I'm not gonna play it right now because I don't want to. You have zone advantage. I don't want to copy. I don't want to take a video and take it audio because that would be a bit rubbish. But um, there was lower gainable. That he was just saying the gainable was the big, was the big sort of, you know, advertisement, and it was upsetting. And he said the gainable shouldn't be that. It should be about celebrating game being proud with you. And now uh, that. No, I kind of agree with that. It should be about celebrating game, but the game of war should be should be also about look looking at the path and recognizing the game um, all people have. Up, but it should be about looking at the forward and looking at hope and light. Um, and I did like the, I did like the words on the nap meant that, at bottom nap meant that was cool. Um, and larger that was cool when Reggie, when, um, the he when Reggie first venture and, the, um, the head of PlayStation, the, for America, I forget what he named, King and Stay and Say, look, we come here to celebrate game no matter which concert family or generation or Team Blue, Team Red, Team Green, we come here to sort of like, um, to sort of like celebrate game. Now there's a one two moment with Stanton. Because uh, they, they made a lot of gaming TV and a lot of monitor. I'm in my Samsung gaming monitor. Um, it was cool. Uh, but Three minutes. they had a line of fun, line of tactic or line of media to do a panel for them. And I can't find her in jacket without any kids shouting in the background saying it was liner, but is that what you, uh, I want your video fan, um, but please go find out because it kind of the cool moment reaction video and what we all say when we see Liner or Big Fame on YouTube. Uh, but it was Liner and he did a panel in a, sh in a seat for Santa and he was a sponsor from the channel. Um, and I appreciate it. Because that is good knowledge that gamers should know. Because it's a game sponsor. It, it, yeah, it's sponsor, but it, you think of it. That, somebody can go buy that TV. And that could change their whole gaming career. And their whole gaming could devrage you. Uh, so, um. Uh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, but so let me know what you think of the game. Boy, well, I haven't watched it, uh, but I'm gonna watch it fully when I have time. Right now, I've only seen people impress and quit on it and all that. So yeah, um, so yeah. Now I know there are a lot of things happening in gaming right now, like the Minecraft Bedrock Edition for. Uh, PlayStation and the uh, 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 the Call of Duty what uh, where it show your death and the death of ratio uh, controversy, but we can talk about future ones. Um, maybe the next. I will I will make sure it is the next. So yeah, um, even in the early morning. So starting with the tech, although we got no sponsor, no advertisement, no 
G. No, um. No, the um, store they can't, so let go on to the net. So, Android Auto, um, Android Auto is now coming in the end of the year 2020. So, first, let me tell you, Android Auto. Um, Apple CarPlay, BMW, and BMW iDrive are to the get rid of the subscription um, for Apple CarPlay, a smartphone monitor, smartphone mirror, or um, just make it a one time out of thing. And I know iDrive is so good, I know the developer won the MBU accident, iDrive and be that open and to be proud of them. I know they don't want users to just put, put their iPhones and to really get away. And I know, especially like me, you should only buy the pattern. Mm, only buy the pattern. Only buy the ordinary pattern. We come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or Smartphone Middle. Or even you buy no part of that all for the sat nav and all the cool fat nav feature. Cause when we get the car, we're just gonna put on our phone and you Google ma and you Google map or wait for sat nav navigation. You Google Play, you Apple Music, Google Play Music, Deezer, Pandora, and Spotify and Apple Music for. And then you do uh, the Google Sydney and City for v and Amazon Alexa for for the text. Amazon Prime made a feature Amazon Alexa app for Apple CarPlay and Android. Auto. Now I am gonna say Apple CarPlay is so much better than Android. Auto. Fifth thing, it got horizontal really cool. Same thing, it got Dharma and a light. It got Dharma. And a light mode. And same thing, it got like the full sync system where you can see where you can see what on your calendar, you can see music, music control, and music art, oh, and you can see not shutting out all in one stream. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, but Android Auto in 2020, he couldn't to um, upper, he couldn't to BMW and BMW iDrive. Now, um, iDrive is a good sit-down. Like, well, you, I got to use iDrive a couple of days and it, it's so easy to use, and it's, and it's so easy to use because BMW made it so easy to use. So, it looked like it would be getting Android Auto widescreen mode, so that means so that means on the side you can add your widget to see the time in the day and also widget for your calendar appointment um, and music control but um, so yeah now I couldn't so um, Android Auto will finally be coming to Upper CarPlay in 2020 Android Auto will be finally coming to BMW Car and BMW iDrive Entertainment System in 2020 now we don't know if they're going to be free or a subscription fee or a price or a update i know when the eu had to get something like the ang primo tech kit which was 16 grand and i need you to um put on a bike car Wait, so yeah, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. I'm happy for your BMW fan to get Android Auto uh, because Android because we should just get Android Auto and an upper car plate on all car, and um, we shouldn't have to pay for it. Um, we shouldn't have to pay for it, let alone a monthly subscription pattern. Um, and uh, and some of you may be thinking, well, they got a night beamer, they must be rich. But no, you shouldn't have to pay for a basic kind of car right in the car automobile. So yeah, you shouldn't have to pay for that. Um, 
to pay for that, but yeah. Um, before we go, uh, before we go on to another topic, um, before we go on to another topic about this, um, where is it? Where is it? Um, let me open another tab. Uh, where is it? I created my green, my green car. What I want in the future. Um. Did it a sudden C to G L E, um, G L L I think. Did it a sudden C to A U V G L E, um, not to sit to two seconds, but not bad, uh, not really fast. A a six cylinder engine, so like a V six, um, or did a six cylinder engine. It diesel, um, it diesel, it a uh, powder, it two hundred, two, a two hundred and two hundred forty three kilowatt, um, and yeah, it, and carbon emission, it, it, it not an environmental car, it uh, like ninety. It was well, a 91 grand, I ran it up to that, um, but actually, it's 90 grand, in fact, it's 960, so it's just sh shy on 91,000 pounds. Uh, but on the contract, I think it's about 500 pounds a month, or 1,200 but um, I'm gonna be that in my dream. Uh, uh, yeah. And then talk about tech more because tech is good. So um, tech is good. So let's talk about the new Mercedes. Now Mercedes and then a brand new car today. Uh, like a couple of weeks. Did it the GLD? But did it the GLD hybrid car? So would I open it up and go to um and go to Mercedes 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 YouTube um YouTube uh, they announced it with a Mercedes Ben World Premiere so um and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Cause I'm a big Mercedes fan. They got one, uh, so they um. Don't be captured. You have so the 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 digital world premiere, um, world premiere on Mercedes, and did uh, their new hybrid. Um, Mercedes car. Um, I can't remember what the range is. I can't remember what the range is on the Mercedes, but you can go look at it. Uh, it's called the Digital World Premiere from Mercedes, the new GLA. But I think it's a hybrid and it's 90 kilowatt of range. With. Is that good for hybrid? But it's better than the. Um, I would so much but again I would. um and the thing with the hybrid I don't know but I do know the Toyota pre uh good days but um the Toyota pre but you can only turn it in hybrid mode when you're going under a certain speed limit under a certain mile per hour, I think it's 20 mile per hour, maybe it's 30, I'm not so sure, but um, I think it's 20. Um, I, I think it's 20. And you know what, I can't even, I can't even, and it can go up though, and it can do all that, but with a hybrid. 
The only problem with I like this, I like this, but I like this and I want Mercedes to do it for their homework because I think hybrid, either hydrogen car or hybrid car are the feature. Because the thing is, you can still go up there in a hybrid car. You can get to your destination wherever. And they call cheaper than a full electric car. And I don't know, but I reckon it would start at 45,000 pounds or maybe 50,000 pounds. And if you think about that, that's cheaper. If you cheaper than a full electric car would start at 70 pounds. So that about what thirty two thousand pound different there? I know more people their car and finance and contract right now, uh, but that is a lot. And so did it the new G? It the new G. Did it the world premiere? It Mercedes Benz GLA 2020. I imagine it can uh, 20, 2020. And they do really the EQC with the full electric SUV we talked about in pre episode. But they did the brand new GLA, so yeah. But I want the GLA, uh, so yeah. But, um, but um, I think this is the way forward. Hydrogen car or hybrid car. I think this is the way forward for automotive and car. So we're done with the Mercedes topic, with the Mercedes electric car topic. We're cutting in a lot of car technology on this show. But it really good. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the brand new Apple Mapper. So Apple and on their Mapper, where is their like, where is the map book of the PC where you can actually upgrade it and customize. So um, now um, the right now we got what I was a uh, seven ten minute left of the Guardian in the game was show. So let's see the map. So Did the map and the map right now? Uh, you can get the map for Tada, and so you can get the map for Tada Confederation and coming soon will be the VAT. Better than okay, the VAT is sick, it's six thousand pounds, um, and the Tada is five and a half thousand pounds. In Japan, the Tada is five thousand. It's five thousand four hundred and ninety-nine pound per year pen, and the rack, um, the rack map pro is five thousand nine nine nine, so ninety-nine, not not not. So basic grand hard one, but um, yeah. So let go and comfort. So uh, what do they think? Do? I think it's great for. Apple people. So did uh, what? So we got a 3.5 gigahertz core, eight core Intel Zeon YW processor with a turbo boot up to four gigahertz. So you can 
you can overclock it to 4 gigahertz so give you an extra 0.5 gigahertz uh, 32, 32, um, 32, um, gigabyte, um, and I don't know, but it said in black, uh, time for 8 gigabytes, so yeah, that gives you 32 up, please, time, you do 8 by 4, or 4 by 8, yeah, but the, the DDR4, the, the DDR4, E, C, E, C, E, C, C, Mandarin, so yeah, uh, Retina, uh, Retina Pro, um, 5008 with 8, with 8 gigabyte, uh, with 8 gigabyte of G, D, D, I, 5 Mandarin, 250 gigabyte of story come with a map written in, yeah, now processor, the map one come but, um, so processor, you got the Intel Core i8, the Intel Core i12, 16, then so you got 8 core, 6 12 core, 16 core, 24 core, and then you got 28 core. Go adding on, so let's add 28 core. I know that will be with it, other, but you got 28 core. But let our 28 call. And then memory, you can go 32 with uh, DDR4. Um, DDR4 again, but you can go 48. DDR4, um, DDR4 96 gigabyte. DDR4 uh, 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 192. DDR4 uh, 348. DDR4 uh, 700, um, 760 gigabyte. So, um, you're not really getting a terabyte, are you, on the machine? I guess you could add a terabyte SSD to it, but, um, you're not really, you can't really purchase a terabyte. So let go, um, let go with that. And let go with the top, because all the... Professional what by the oh you can so you can go with a 1.5 terabyte memory so but that would add 22 22 oh that would add 22 22 22,580 and that will wrap me up to my total so yeah uh, a radio vent, so uh, we so the map probably pretty expensive. Um, and what did you get in the box? You get the map, pro, the paddly USB type, uh, uh, you get USB type speed to lightning cable, uh, magic ma and magic keyboard win. Magic keyboard with number keyboard. Uh, so yeah, um, for me it said the fab delivery. Uh, it, for me you can pick it up in the Apple Store or you can go. Or it said it will get the response. Get it in your premium in the delivery. Uh, January third to the seventh. Or January seven to the nine, and you go with free or fat. So you're saving a two much a day. And get two much a day hurry with the fat delivery. So let me know what you guys think, and thank you for tuning in to the Guardian, the Gamer Show. I see you did the Bailey Water signing out from Guardian Media Group. Also know a Guardian, the Gamer from Guardian.